Hello everyone. When I first started working on this video, my main idea was to list the different theories about the origins of the Borg from the fans and rank them. At the end of the video, I was going to come up with my own theory and end it there. But after doing some research and reviewed the different theories that my viewers sent me and the videos, I came to the conclusion that this subject required a deeper dive than just ranking them. With a quick search on the internet, you would come across interesting theories such as V'ger or the Romulans creating the Borg. I also saw a comment from a viewer mentioning the theory that Wesley Crusher might have created the Borg in Season 3 Episode 1 called Evolution. Wesley Crusher created nanites who eventually became sentient. The theory goes that eventually nanites got sucked into a wormhole and got sent to the Delta Quadrant a thousand years ago. It's an interesting theory but I think it lacks merit. The only issue is that none of these theories contain AI or machines that are interested in cultures and technology to try to assimilate it. V'ger hated humanity and showed no interest in merging with them. Crusher's nanites also didn't seem interested in humanity either or even merging with them and only wanted peace to grow their newly founded society. Of course, we can't forget about the theory that the Romulans created the Borg, which stems from the information and hints from the Picard show. Personally, I don't want the Borg origins to be linked to any races from the Alpha or Beta Quadrant. I would rather have the Borg be linked to a race that we have no knowledge about, which gives us another race for us to learn about and figure out why they created the Borg. I've watched the podcast video explaining the theory about the Romulans, but it seems like a stretch. But I wouldn't be surprised if the writers decide to go that route about the Romulans, even though they're not the same age as the Borg, who are hundreds of thousands of years old. For me, it seems more possible that Q created the Borg than the Romulans. Overall, I'm looking for a theory that's likely possible, such as the origin theory created by resurrected starships. He's a sci-fi YouTuber who creates videos about starships and theories. The main idea behind this theory is that technically there's no origins of the Borg. Every society has the potential of becoming the Borg depending on their choices. Logically, having a society that merged their minds together into a collective would preserve their society while also ending all wars on their planet within days and forcing their society to work together for the greater good. I linked his video in the description box below and on my video so check it out. He goes into a deeper dive into his theory as well as it's an interesting video so it doesn't hurt to watch it. Overall, I like this theory. It seems like this path to become the Borg is not common because we don't know any society in the Star Trek universe that went down this path to merge their populations minds together to become a collective. My only issue with these theories is that I feel like a lot of these people, including myself for the longest time, are missing the main idea behind the Borg, which is to assimilate any culture or technology that could benefit the Borg. In many ways, this idea doesn't seem organically thought of by the Borg, but programmed into the Collective. You would think that over time that the Borg Collective would semi-deviate from this path after a while, but the Borg Collective is unable to. It's in a constant loop of trying to assimilate cultures and technology. But it appears that the size of the Borg is just a byproduct from the Borg's main goal, which is to assimilate cultures and technology. Just through observation, the Borg Collective is an AI that takes information that it needs from the mass population that it simulates and creates individuals such as the Queen to help protect the Collective from outside threats while the AI focuses on its main goal, which is to assimilate other cultures and technology. Of course, this leads us to the question to why would someone create an AI that simulates other cultures and technology? In many ways, it seems like the Borg was designed to find other races that could be a threat and eliminate them through assimilation. This idea reminds me of an episode from Babylon 5 called A Day in the Strife. It's about an alien ship that travels through space giving races intelligent tests and if the race is able to answer the question, the ship would explode eliminating the threat. Just to summarize it, there was an alien race that released a ship that basically searched for other races that could rival theirs and if they did, the ship would explode eliminating the other race. In many ways, the Borg do the same thing. They look for worthy races that have culture and technology and assimilate them, which technically eliminates them as a threat. Why destroy a race that could be a threat when you can force them to join you and take their technology? This still leaves us with the question, why would the Borg AI put all individuals that were assimilated into the collective? Putting these individuals into the collective will allow the AI to pull information that's needed for it to survive while also suppressing that individual's mind and forcing them to fight for the Borg. In many ways, the Borg Collective is a dumb AI. 
If we follow the definition described by resurrected starships, a dumb AI is programmed for a single purpose, and we already observed that the Borg's single purpose is to assimilate other cultures and technology. Granted, this does not prove my theory that the Borg were designed to eliminate threats, but it does show that the Borg were not as complicated as we first thought. The Borg AI is limited compared to other AIs that were shown to us in the Star Trek universe. The Borg possessed advanced knowledge, but was unable to find a way to stop Species 8472. The main reason why is that the Borg cannot understand what it cannot assimilate, proving that its main function is just to assimilate. It really shows that the Borg are unable to deviate from their programming. They possess a big population of possible great minds, but they're unable to use them, or unable to. The hologram doctor from Voyager was able to find a way to stop species 8472, and he didn't have access to the same technology and resources that the Borg possess. You would assume that the Borg AI would be advanced enough to come up with a solution. As stated before, I think the Borg is a dumb AI and relies on creating other individuals like the Queen to perform actions that would be outside of its ability. The one instance that always pointed me to the direction that the Borg is a dumb AI and only focuses on threats that could rival them was when Starfleet officers were able to beam over to their ship. The Borg wouldn't attack them considering them not to be a threat and maybe not worthy enough to be assimilated. For me those scenes were always weird and didn't make much sense to me, which is the reason why I created my theory, to really help explain these scenes. Granted my theory is not perfect, because the Borg Queen once mentioned that they were once like the humans, which points to that the Borg might have been a humanoid society which focused on merging themselves with technology and eventually lost their humanity and became species 1 and the Borg at the same time. I saw a comment from a viewer mentioning that he always found the Borg origin story a bit unsatisfying and I don't blame him. None of these theories are concrete enough and they don't completely line up, which is probably the reason why a lot of fans like the idea that the Borg were created from an unknown race that took merging with their technology a little too far. There are tons of different theories out there, but I have a feeling in season 2 of Picard we will find out the answer. Let me know your thoughts about my theory and who do you think created the Borg? If you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe to my channel. And also don't forget to follow me on my socials. Displayed on the screen are two other videos you might be interested in. Thank you for watching Utopian Broadcast and I'll see you next time on my channel. Thank you.